A group of a dozen colorful squawking parrots brought smiles and laughs to thousands of visitors to Lahaina's famous Front Street Corridor. Many people would take home photos and postcards as keepsakes of their Maui vacation. Fox Size Jovial shows us what is next for the birds and their owners after they all lost their home to the wildfires. Chips and Angel are blue and gold macaws, been best friends for many, 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 many years. Well, Barry Matthews started her business in 1985. Just with me and one bird walking the beaches. She took pictures with tourists and made postcards to send home to friends. Well, this is Pearl. David Vonzo joined a year later. The couple set up shop outside the Pioneer Inn in Lahaina in 2000. Just like any other union animal, these guys work a morning shift and an afternoon shift splitting it. The colorful characters. I have little sweet pea here. Became an iconic part of the Front Street experience for the last 40 years. We've done it for so long, we've watched children from a child grow to adult to have their own children to yeah, bring them back as adults. We're in generation of families. Shoulders yeah, first, so we take this bird, then this Lonnie, she goes here. Those people, the first thing they say when they walk up is, this is my favorite thing, this is what I remember. This one over here, that's Fred. This is why we're back again. Some of them have done it every year for that many years. The one on this side? Just recently have the one that says, I think you're the same guy from 30 years ago, aren't you? <laughs> That's the pose right here. Well, for David, Barry, and so many others in Lahaina, everything changed in just a matter of minutes. Within 20 minutes, it was on us. It was a scramble. Yeah. Everything had to be, we had to load 15 birds into their carriers, into the cars. This is just Angel going in. We had four dogs to transfer as well. We had a number of cats we couldn't take all with us. It's overwhelming to, to the, lose everything. To the point that you were actually driving off, you had it. <sighs> we were hoping to return. You had it in your heart that you were coming back. A local vet is now housing the birds. He reached out being. to us immediately. As soon as he got cell service was back on, he was the first call that came through. Who's the baby? Oh, you're the baby. Barry and David have a place to stay for now, too. We have a very generous friend that allowed us to stay. In doing so, they also lost their business at the same time. The couple isn't asking what's next, but where. We'll continue, do something somewhere. The animals need it, we need it. But uh, location is question. Flat hand. Just fingers open for balance. The moment of time that you spend is not long. Slide in here. But the memory you make is it's a forever. lifetime. Yeah. That's the money shot right there. The parrots have been part of the couple's family for 30 to 40 years. Many of them were rescued. Barry and David have a GoFundMe set up, and you can find the link under this story on foxivegas.com.